Well, I was born in Liberia, West Africa, but my parents were originally from Lebanon. My father actually had moved to Liberia in, I think, the 60s or the 50s, you know, to work there. And my brothers were born there. My sister was born in Europe. And I went to an American high school. So obviously, you know, an American high school, I was planning to come here for college. And, um, you know, just like any other senior, you know, I did, you know, I went through the application process, the SATs and everything, and uh, being overseas, everything had to be submitted prior, you know, because it was snail mail back then, and it took, you know, at least, a, you know, like a couple of extra weeks for things to arrive, and uh, although my mom said, if you're coming here, it has to be, you know, like a women's college, and my graduating class was 27 students, so I was not going to go to a huge university. Yeah, so I was accepted at Wellesley College and um, I submitted all of my paperwork and they had to send in the I-20, which is the um, student visa form, which I would then have to take to the embassy. But then in April, they told us, you guys are graduating at the end of April because there was some um, I think the services there, and they were they were pulling out or um, all of the non-essential American citizens, but we had nowhere to go, so we stayed there. But I still had to, had to take my AP exam, and I still had to wait for my I-20 to arrive. So we took the AP exam, and then my dad sent us to London just to wait it out. You know, I mean, it was for a month until my I-20 arrived, and then we'd go back. But then the situation got bad and my dad had to leave. Thankfully, my I-20 arrived. So I took it to the embassy in London. That was my first time ever going to apply for a visa. <laughs> and I still remember, I think we made it there at 6.30 in the morning. And I mean, the embassy took a whole block. So we waited, I went in, I, you know, I gave them all my paperwork and they asked me to come back in the afternoon for the interview. And I remember him asking me, what are you planning to do after you graduate? You know, for some reason, you know, I mean, it sticks in my mind. And I looked at him, you know, it's like, why is he asking me that question? Like, I'm going back home to my family in Liberia. So I was like, okay. And now in retrospect, I'm like, did he know something I didn't know? Because the situation really never got, you know, I mean, any better. And uh, my dad decided then to come with me here, you know, I mean, to bring me to college and my family came and I started. He took me to Massachusetts and the situation had not improved in Liberia, so they decided to stay. Since there was no going back to Liberia, um, they moved to Dearborn. Since there was an Arab American community here, my, um, my siblings enrolled in the public school. I graduated from Mulvilly and then I moved back here and I knew then that this is my new home. And I met my husband, <laughs> married, and two kids down the line. <laughs> I was an, I guess, accidental immigrant. 